Alright YouTube, this is the last day of 2017 and tonight we're gonna start an annual tradition. Tonight we're gonna have a look at the top 5 dunks from Yanis. I know, how do you do this? Uh, well, lucky for you, I'm a scientist and scientists use formulas and spreadsheets. So, this is what I'll do. I'm gonna rank each dunk in 5 different categories and then I'm gonna add it up. It will give me a number from 1 until 100 and then I will use this number to rank the dunks. So, let's have a look at the five categories. Number one, game. Is this the NBA Finals? Is this the playoffs? Or is this just two lottery teams playing against each other? Number two, the time in the game. Is this fourth quarter? Is this clutch? Is this a game winner? Or is it just where the Bucks are up by 20? Number three, the play. You know, what is this? Has there been a block right before? Has there been a steal? Is this a coast-to-coast? -coast? Number four, defense. What exactly did the defense do? Is this a facial? Is this a poster? And number five, this is what I call NBA Jam, altitude with an attitude. How would you score it if it was in a slam dunk contest? So who makes it to the top five? Let's have a look. Number five, this is against the Portland Trailblazers and Giannis steals the ball gets the pass from Brogdon and gives Bucks the lead. This is almost a game winner. Well, actually, Yanis will block Nurkic for the game. Uh, but yeah, it's good enough for number five. Number four, this is against the Knicks and look at where he jumps from. That's a nice view actually that Melo has. Look at where he jumps from. Number three, the pick and roll with Malcolm Brogdon, good for an alley-oop at Boston. Baines actually catches the ball after this and thinks that there was no basket. Number two, this is at the garden behind the back and the defender moves out of the way. Yeah, that's a nice choice to be made there. 20, 19 and 20 on the th last three categories. And now this is an honorable mention because it's not a dunk, but if it was, it would be good for number one. This is versus the Celtics, 2017. And this guy is lucky to be alive because look at that. And at number one, well, it's a 20 because it's a game winner. It's a buzzer beater. And it's a 20 because he gets past his defender and he posterizes the MVP. Yes, yes, I can see he steps out of bounds, so that's the reason why the play is scored at 16 and not at 20. But let's see that again. With 4 seconds to go, Yanis, without even receiving a screen, gets away from his defender and slams it for the win! Agree or disagree, this is my top 5. Yanis, keep on dunking. Yanni Megale, next to Nakarafonis, and I will see you next year. Thank you.